So this is going to be a fast video. I needed a quick card so I thought I would um, show you how I'm going to make it and it's using a technique that's been around for a while. It's known as thumping and all you need is a marker. This one is Rich Razzleberry because my card base is also Rich Razzleberry. And I am using the Blooming with Kindness stamp set. That's what this flower is from. Hello Honey ink pad. I have a piece of Whisper White. This has been cut at four by five and a quarter so that it will mat on my um, four and a quarter by five and a half card base. Then I have a piece of Designer Series paper and this is from the absolutely gorgeous Painted Petals Designer Series paper that's currently available in our um, Occasions catalog. So to make this card, I'm just inking up my flower in the Hello Honey. And actually I want to ink up that little bit of a stem as well. So I'm going to use my Mossy Metal marker for that and I'm going to go right on top of that yellow. Just like that. And this is where the thumping comes in. I'm going to use the bold tip of my marker and just like tapping a drum, which I used to do in Air Cadets many, many, many moons ago, you're just going to tap it up and down all around your image. Okay kind of hard to stop because it's kind of fun. <laughs> so once you have decided to stop thumping, what you want to do is you're going to huff on your image because some of that ink may have dried so the moisture in your breath will re-moisten it. <sighs> oh, that turned out really really nice. So I've got the two colors blended in there. Next I'm taking my scallop border punch I'm going to punch an edge to this designer series paper. So now that I have my edge punched out, I'm going to trim this down so that it measures one and a half inches. There we go. I've trimmed it up so it's one and a half by four so that it could go right on top of my paper just like that. Right now I'm going to take my Project Life Corner Punch and trim off the top two corners. I'm going to do the same thing with my card base, just the top two corners. Oops. There we go. All right. I think I'm actually going to go with the yellow because I have a piece of mossy metal ribbon that I'm going to just wrap around. Gonna trim that. Add that to my card. Okay, now before I put my bow on, I want to stamp my expression. And I'm going to use the warmest wishes for your birthday. Now I could just go ahead and stamp that right on to my image, but I'm going to use my stamp magic to position that. I'm going to stamp it in my early espresso ink. So I'll just stamp on my piece of plastic. So this is one of the prime reasons why I love Stampin' Majigs because you can position this all over your card to decide where you want to put your image before you actually stamp it. I'm going to stamp it right here in that corner. Okay, I'll show you how I'm going to do my ribbon. I've got my ribbon tail hanging down behind my fingers here. I'm going to open up these two and I'm just going to pull it up and over through the middle and over and then I'm going to go around this bottom and put it through my fingers like this. Oops. Then pull it up it's pulling up through the middle and then I'm going to tuck it under this piece here. Now I probably could have cut this ribbon a little bit longer. And then I'm just, I'm still holding this tail down with my thumb and I'm just pulling on this corner to pull that tight. 
Then I'm going to wiggle it off my fingers. Just like that. Fan them out. I really should have used a longer piece of ribbon, but keeping it real, my friends, keeping it real. And it still looks nice. I'm going to use a glue dot to put that on. Just peel off a couple glue dots. Stick them behind the bow, and I'm also going to put just a little glue dot behind this ribbon just to hold it down. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can hear the storm raging outside, but it's crazy. It's a whiteout. I can't even see my yard for all the snow. Alright, so I'm done playing with my bow. And I'm just going to stick it on my card. Just like that. Now for the inside of my card, I have a piece of computer paper that I've cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. I'm going to take my Project Life Corner Punch, punch the top two corners. I've put some adhesive just on the back, just on the top. You could put more adhesive on if you like, but I find that that is enough for me. So there you go. A quick card. It's kind of cinchy. It's nothing fancy, but when you need a quick card, it works. And I hope you give that a try. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping.